We're inside the Convention Center Ocean City. It's MAKO 2022, and we're here to kind of give you a full tour of what happens and why MAKO is so important. We're starting off right here at Queens County. Yeah, of course we are. And what are they handing out? Crab knives, because that's what Maryland does. Files on a tour. Check out MAKO 2022. Queens County is always is taking over Mako. Of course, I ran the Commissioner Wilson. Commissioner Wilson, how's it going to Mako 2022? It's going good. Mako is the organization um, formed by all the elected officials from all 23 counties and Baltimore City. So we have 24 jurisdictions that are represented. Um, each county has two uh, representatives that sit on the Mako Legislative Committee. Um, when sessions in in Annapolis, we meet every Wednesday to go over any number of bills that uh, pertain to county functioning, autonomy, things like that. Uh, and we vote as a collective group. Um, it's nonpartisan. Uh, and basically, it's one county, one vote. My oh. man. <laughs> I'm, I'll find you soon. I know you will. Right. Well, I'm Dennis Schrader, the Secretary of Health, and we're here at our Maryland Department of Health booth. Yeah, and you guys have a wonderful booth set up here. People yep. can come up, they can get some take-home tests, masks, all types of goodies. What's your experience like at Mako? And you get to walk around and you get to meet people? Well, it, Mako has uh, three or four. One, it's educational. Like mm -hmm. this morning, I heard a really good presentation on community development. That was very valuable. Uh, it also gives us a chance to connect with people we don't normally see. Hi, I'm Gail Owings. I'm the director of the Stories of the Chesapeake Heritage Area, which serves Talbot, Kent, Queen Anne's, and Caroline counties. I am Lucille Walker. I'm the executive director of the Southern Maryland Heritage Area, and we are Charles, Calvert, and St. Mary's. We get to support what is what makes Maryland uniquely Maryland, and that's what we're here to do. It's so much fun watching people look at our display here and look at examples of projects that we have helped fund, and watch how, see how excited they get about the history of their counties. What, what do we got going on over here? Hi, uh, Adam, Sophia, with the Mayor's Office of Government Relations with the City of Baltimore, and uh, we're here to just Thank promote you. the city. Um, we're also really excited about the CIAA tournament happening next year, and so we have a little basketball tournament we have for the guests uh, that have been arriving. And uh, Rob here was one of the first people, if not wait, the first person this morning to uh, make a shot. And hey, it was hey, Chris, N nothing but net. Oh! <laughs> oh! Uh, my name is Anthony Burroughs. I'm with the Maryland Department of Natural Resources. I'm Gene Deems. I am alumni of Maryland Department of Natural Resources, having retired uh, March the 31st, but still part of the family. Well, all the stuff we have to offer here at the department, a couple of the new things we're working on is our Office of Outdoor Recreation. It's a new program we put in place this year, and we're also talking about the Lieutenant Governor. He's been going around and visiting all of our state parks. He's almost done. He's doing a bucket list. And so we're talking about that as well. Yeah, sounds like he's busy. He sounds like busy. you guys he's are busy. Fun. Yeah, it's good. And Bob Barker taught me, Plinko is always played, not by the center, but just off the center. Here, Found Commissioner Dumanil. We're here at the Serve Pro booth because there's more than just county organizations and government here, right? Right. There's a lot of vendors that uh, the county jurisdictions and state level jurisdictions uh, rely on in the public sector to help us accomplish things that we need to uh, get done in, the, in our counties and show their wares and their services that they can provide the counties and the state level agencies. Being an elected official um, and having the opportunity to be down here uh, in MAKO, is, um, it's not all fun and games. Uh, we attend uh, seminars and meetings to learn uh, about different things that are going on in, in our communities and at a state level. And ultimately the goal is to be better uh, governmental leaders um, and take some of the things that we learned uh, back home to our jurisdictions and, and apply those new learnings. There's a business here for every single need that a county jurisdiction would possibly have. I'm here with Secretary Green. We're talking about the Department of Public Safety. We're just here engaging all of our local leaders. As you know, the Department of Public Safety Correctional Services, we have facilities from mountain to shore, 18 facilities across the state, a number of the Department of Division of Parole and Probation offices. But really, our mission today is connecting with these local leaders. My day started at 7 this morning with some meetings. Uh, you know, we'll engage people here at the booth. We're engaging individuals throughout the vendors hall, making sure we're up in the classrooms for those 
uh, areas that, that are unique, that connect with us, and a lot of our work connects with a lot of people. So we want to make sure we're available. You need to come out and see what Maryland's about, what's happening. Uh, state government, local government, municipal government coming together and really having some FaceTime opportunity to show their wares, what they do, and engage an individual and be present. It's it's what we have to do in, in government. Really well. Mako is wonderful. We're having a great time here. As part of the Maryland Department of Transportation and the MDTA, we've got a lot of great things to learn about with highway safety, how to have a great experience riding on your toll roads with Easy Pass, and great information about how our airports, ports, everything across the board works. Yeah, Chris even got to fly a plane. Yeah, yeah, it's a cool simulator here. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. So uh, speaking of Mako, how many years have you been attending? Uh, this is actually my first year, believe it or not. But What, what do you think? That's uh, wonderful, yeah. A lot of great folks coming, joining at the, at the conference and been able to share great information about opportunities to have good tolling experiences all the way to what kinds of projects we have in the pipeline right. for the counties. Are you having a little bit of fun too? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for our Maryland Association of Counties Tour for 2022. We hope you learned something. More importantly, we hope that you just have a better understanding of what happens at the conference. And maybe we'll see you next year at MAKO 2023.